Hello everyone and welcome. Today I would like to do something different. I want to show you what I like to eat in the month of February, Valentine's Day, because my birthday is also in February, February the 1st. So I'm going to do some Valentine's cooking or my birthday food cooking. So I will show you in a little bit. Okay, so it's going to be pink fried rice today and I kind of like prep a little bit. This is already pink, but I'm going to add um, some more pink into it. What I use to make the color of the rice pink is this beets. So I'm going to add some more. So what I did, I added the juice. So a little bit more juice. Stir. Until. Until. It's really pink, the color that you like. So I think it's good. And I'm going to use turkey meat. I cut it up small pieces. You can use chickens or turkey bacons, um, light colored meat, so you can mix the um, colors pink into it so it look uh, more pink. So again I'm going to add the juice to it but just a little bit first and I'm going to mix it Okay, it's pretty good. Put it aside. Um, basically that's it. Um, I also have, no, I have egg white. So let me add color to it. Um, when I make regular fried rice, not pink fried rice, I use the yolk also because I don't care what color it comes out to be. So, see? It's pink. So, I cut up tomatoes for my size, just for veggie. Side, you don't have to have tomatoes on the side, but I like to have some vegetable on the side. But maybe I'll try. It's already red. It's just the color of the Valentine's also, but maybe I'll just see what it looks like if I put pink beet juice into it. Oh, it looks more a little bit more reddish so it looks good but you can choose other vegetables or fruits to cooperate with your food like for desserts or your side or even like you can find a lot of pink desserts like ice cream and cupcakes and cookies in the month of Valentine's anyways um, oh, I also cut shapes of hearts of my turkey meat, so let me add juice. 
juice to it. You don't have to cut hearts, but um, I like to see little hearts with my fried rice on the side too. So this is going to be more like a decorative to look good and you can eat it too. So I did put a lot. You can also use food coloring powder but all I have is well I just want to use beet juice right now I do have food color actually coloring let's put this to the side I'm going to turn on my stove a little bit oil so the rice won't stick to it but I'm gonna cook my turkey meat first and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the hearts too but I'm gonna pick it out afterward and I'm gonna do this for five minutes so I'm gonna pause actually I'm gonna um cook it the beets and the turkey for three minutes because I don't want it to burn because I want the pink to show not brown and it's already looking like this and I have the heat on low so now it's been um three minutes I took it out and now I'm gonna pick out my pretty pink heart because I want to use it for a different arrangement so my pink hearts look like this so I got all my pink hearts out the timer and it looks already pretty I'll put that to the side and here's the beets and the turkey it's all looking good nice and pink and now I will add my pink rice uh, I'll say I'll do another three minutes So, I'll stir it up for another three minutes. Actually, I did it for about two minutes already, and I did add a little bit more oil so the rice won't stick to the pan, the frying pan, and it's already looking like this. And now I'm going to add my egg white, which I make it pink and I'm going to do it for two minutes 
Uh, maybe one minute. We'll see. So actually, it's about um, three minutes actually because I want the rice to be a little bit not too moist, a little bit um, dry. And now I'm going to add, I have chicken flavoring. If you don't have chicken flavoring, you can add butter instead of oil, or you can also use butter. So I'm going to add chicken flavoring a little bit. I'm going to add that much. And I like to add sugar. So I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. And usually with regular fried rice, I use um, soy sauce. But my soy sauce, I don't know um, if they have a not too dark of the color. But maybe it won't matter, but I'm afraid to try with the soy sauce. So I'm going to use fish sauce. Um, I only put a little bit of flavoring because then I have chicken flavoring. Or maybe you might not need it, but I put a little bit because the fish sauce is a little bit clearer. So not too dark. Next, I'm going to... Next time when I make pink fried rice, I'm going to try with the regular soy sauce. So, that's basically it. It looks very yummy already. So, I'm going to turn the heat off. And I'm going to arrange it on the plate for you to see it. Voila! It looks like this. Isn't it beautiful? I'm pretty sure you guys want to have some right now. And I taste it. It's actually yummy. And this is good because I used to be a preschool teacher for 15 years, um, teaching kindergarten and pre-kinder. And I cooperate. The tomato has shape, circle, and the heart shapes. Not that they're eating it, that it looks cute and makes them want to eat it and it's colorful. You um, help them cooperate um, to eat um, new food and have heart shape and you can cut the turkey small shape like square or triangle or even stars for a different month but yes so it has different shapes and it's pink very colorful as beets and tomatoes ah don't move and I use my big cookie cutter um, to make the fried rice heart shape if you would like to know. Let me place it next to um it's right here next to my what you call this dessert tray. Um you can put little pink cookies or cut up watermelons. I have hearts candies right now for dessert actually I have pink ice cream also for my desserts so thank you for watching thank you for watching and I hope you like my valentine and my birthday cooking food that this is just one of the food I will uh, show you other flavors that I like to eat in the month of February and plus I have a daughter and she likes pretty I like to make her very pretty food when she eats prep and everything all decorated with colors and things so I hope this video inspired you um, to cook some of your favorite food to make cute and decorative 
to make it festive and more um, celebrative ideas. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.